At this farm near Bakersfield, truckloads of fertilizer arrive every day. But it's not just any fertilizer, it's biosolids, otherwise known as processed human waste. Yup, it's the waste from millions of LA residents, and it's been treated and trucked more than 100 miles to fertilize crops, which has caused a bit of a stink. But let's back up to the beginning. LA has a lot of people and a lot of toilets. Maybe we'd rather not think about where all that waste goes, but it has to go somewhere. Today, I'm at the Hyperion Treatment Plant in Playa del Rey, California. Now, this facility processes the raw sewage of more than 4 million LA residents. So all of the pipe networks under the streets throughout the city, they all come into this place, Hyperion. Enrique Zaldivar is the director of LA's Bureau of Sanitation. The purpose here is to take out all of the bigger, heavier items. Give me an example of Things a bigger, like a, heavier a, item. A, a uh, six-inch comb, for example, plastic comb. People flush their combs down the toilet? Yep, sometimes they do, and all kinds of other non-flushables. And so the very first process, for a number of reasons, is to screen those out. So all of, oh dear. Oh my gosh. We are always amazed of the kinds of things that get in. You know I'm totally gonna be Instagramming this, right? <laughs> well. LA's oldest and largest wastewater treatment facility, Hyperion processes everything that ends up in the sewer system. We're a 24-7 operation, so we can never stop. After liquids and solids are separated, the sludge is spun in centrifuges to remove even more liquid. Then it's sent to oven-like domes called digesters. Any biosolid that comes into each one of these digesters will stay in there for 12 days. 12 days at 128 degrees to kill diseases but keep good bacteria alive. We test for E. coli, different types of viruses, heavy metals. We test for a whole battery of criteria pollutants that are contained in the EPA regulations. The finished product? Biosolids. Every day, about 1.2 million pounds of the stuff is loaded onto trucks for a little road trip. So where are most of those trucks going? Bakersfield. 100 miles north of LA, an unincorporated area west of Bakersfield is home to Green Acres Farm, owned by the city of Los Angeles. It smells a little fresh. Like you put in a fertilizer. Yeah. Diane Gilbert Jones is an environmental engineer with LA's Bureau of Sanitation. She showed me how the biosolids are applied to the farm. So this is a pretty big dump, huh? It's, it looks like it's still warm, it's steaming, huh? Yes, it is. Can we touch it? Of course we can. Yeah? Yes. Should I really be doing this? <laughs> no, see? <laughs> no, I mean, let's do it. Yes, I... yes, it's biosolids. See, it feels like cake. Oh my goodness. Okay, I, I'm, I'm totally gonna go. Yeah. Okay, so this is what we're dealing with here. After offloading, the material is spread and then tilled into the soil. So instead of buying chemical fertilizers to grow the crops, we're using nutrient-rich biosolids. This is a field full of milo at the Green Acres Farm. Now milo is a crop grown to feed cattle. And all of this was grown using, you guessed it, biosolids. How do you know this is totally safe? Kern County and our uh, on-site farm manager comes out, they actually take a sample. That sample is sent to an outside lab and they look at a whole a gamut of metals and other constituents that may be in the biosolids and then they provide those results to Kern County. All the tests that we have done since applying at this site have come, out, come back in compliance with the regulations, even the Kern County regulations because Kern County also regulates this material as well. So what's the big stink about? Every two years, the EPA conducts reviews of biosolids regulations. But some critics say those regulations are outdated and insufficient to protect public health and the environment. In 2006, voters in Kern County overwhelmingly passed a measure to prevent LA from bringing biosolids into their county. Measure E is the voter initiative ordinance that prohibits the land application of sludge in the unincorporated areas of Kern County. But it got tied up in a court battle and never went into effect. One vocal opponent of LA's biosolids program is Kern County Supervisor Letitia Perez. 
We came up here to Bakersfield hoping to interview Supervisor Perez. In fact, we had an appointment with her to interview her right here outside of her office. But when we arrived, instead of Supervisor Perez, her council, the county's council, came down and told us they would not participate in the story. They would not comment on anything related to biosolids. County officials may be tight-lipped now, but in the past, they've insisted that L.A.'s treated sludge is not safe. Soil expert Blake Sandin says applying biosolids to the same piece of land, even once a year, could be too much too often. Uh, that's where justifiable concerns arise over any of these materials, whether it's biosolids, whether it's dairy manure, uh, waste from, from anything. The use of too much organic material, he says, could throw off the delicate balance of nutrients required to grow healthy crops. I think people are still concerned about it. I think we are too. But that isn't keeping Blake and farmers like Bo and Larry from trying to find a middle ground. For the past few years, they've been experimenting on a small patch of land. They've used biosolids mixed with compost material to create richer soil. Very pleased with the results. I, I mean, we wouldn't be growing alfalfa here if we hadn't done that. With the composted biosolid that we're using as a soil amendment, you know, in, in limited quantities mm -hmm. on, you know, land scattered throughout the valley, I don't think it's that big a deal. You gotta take baby steps when exploring what you're doing and just making sure that you're doing the right thing for the consumers. I mean, Yet they admit there's a definite yuck factor you can smell. How would you describe the smell? <clears throat> it smells like... <laughs> <laughs> Now, is that smell a health hazard? No, but it's part of what we associate with the yuck factor. And that yuck factor may be one of the driving forces behind opposition to biosolids. Kern County farmers cannot afford to be seen as the LA toilet bowl. And simply put, there's probably more concern over bad press advertising than there is over the real science involved. Back at Green Acres, it's business as usual. And at Hyperion, LA sewage keeps rolling in. Our mission is, is twofold, to protect public health and the environment. For now, the legal battle continues, and so does the steady stream of biosolids headed to Green Acres Farm. But I still have one question. Did anyone bring any hand wipes? <laughs> I got some in the car. I'm Derek Shore for SoCal Connected.